G'day, I'm Nick Goldschmidt, winemaker for Goldschmidt Vineyards, and I'm going to talk to you today about ripeness, what we consider as winemakers when we consider about making a picking decision for a grape in a vineyard. The most important thing is this factor of time, and the way we start measuring time is at the beginning we talk about when the grapes flower, and of course the end of time is obviously when we harvest. In Bordeaux, this time is usually a hundred days, but that's the French. I'm here to talk about California. At the beginning of flowering, we start to see, or quickly soon after, we start to see an increase in acid. And acid is very important because acid is what gives wine structure and flesh and flavor when combined with the fruit and the alcohol that I'll talk about later on. When the acid starts to decrease, this is a period that we call veraison. Veraison is when berries change from green to yellow if they're Chardonnay, or they start to take on that red hue if it's, a, if it's a red grape varietal like Pinot or Cabernet or Merlot. At this point, we start to have an increase in sugar. And of course, sugar is very important because sugar converts to alcohol. And of course, alcohol adds body and weight to the wine. Also at this point, or a little bit later, is the most important thing in a berry is the flavor and how that flavor comes on. So it starts off relatively low, and increases dramatically as the grapes ripen. And the third factor that we think about is tannin. And tannin starts off at a very high level and decreases in terms of its feel in the mouth as we get closer to harvest. And the way that we judge tannin is tannins move from green flavored tannins to dusty tannins. Dusty tannins are those ones that you get in wine that are a little bit more sort of grainy and gravelly. And then we get to dry tannins. Dry tannins are ones that are a little bit more stringent on the side of your tongue. You know, when you wipe your tongue around the side of your cheek and you sort of feel that grippiness, that's a dry tannin. And then finally we get to ripe tannins. And where these three things meet, the tannins, the flavor, and the sugar, is when we want to harvest. Well, unfortunately, this is agriculture. We're not making washing machines here or motorbikes. This never happens. What does happen is if the heat starts to continue, the sugar starts to increase dramatically. And of course that's an issue. If we get rain, the sugar will get diluted and that'll cause a lowering of alcohol and a watering down of the flavor. The other thing too is we're also very dependent on the vintage in itself. So if we have a high crop here or a high tons per, hect tons per acre, what you'll notice is tannins take a little longer to ripen. And if we have a low yield or a low tons per acre, flavor takes longer to ripen and tannins will actually ripen quicker. So we've always got to bear that in mind. So when we think about California, and we average everything out in any particular year, instead of 100 days from bloom to harvest, as we have in Bordeaux, for white grapes in the Russian River, we could be at 135 days. For Cabernet in the Alexander Valley or the Napa Valley, we could be at 145 days, because we have such ideal ripening conditions here in California, and that's what makes us really unique in the Napa Valley, the Alexander Valley, or Dry Creek, or out in the Russian River in Carneros where we grow Chardonnay. We have this extra one month of hang time for flavor development. So, next time you walk into a vineyard, what you'll do is take a berry, put that berry in your mouth, you chew it, you spit the pulp out, we do a lot of spitting in the wine industry I'm afraid, but you spit that pulp out and all you want to do is chew the skin, because when you chew the skin, that's where the tannins are, that's where the flavor is. And I'll just give you a little bit of science here. Under the skin are these things called vacuoles, or these little cells. And in these cells, this is where tannin and flavor and all the other polyphenolic material that go in to make great wine live. That's why you don't want to chew the pulp, you just want to chew the skin. And when you chew the skin, you can judge where you are in terms of ripeness, in terms of tannin, and ripeness in terms of flavor. And as we get closer to this 130, 140 days, we know that we're getting real close to making the right picking decision for each specific vineyard that we have under our portfolio.